And three writers of the roster 2022 have joined me uh, now. Uh, Ashley Moomenpasio, Nee Fischer-Black and Anna Shackley, of course. And we would have loved to introduce you also to uh, Blanca Vaj, but unfortunately due to a close contact, she could not join us today uh, in our studio. Um, but you will definitely see her in the upcoming season with her promising uh, talent like uh, Danny just uh, stated. Um, and we saw um, Blanca also in the cyclocross season. Um, do you follow cyclocross as well? Uh, actually, I mean, she's, she's your teammate in a little bit. Uh, yeah, Ashley? of course. Um, yeah? With the teammate racing, of course, um, I've been following. And yeah, Blanca is a very exciting rider, very exciting talent. Um, and just a great person. So yeah, we she came into the team in the middle of the last season. Right. Um, and immediately the first race she did with the team at uh, Vuelta was already a, a really impressive performance. So yeah, she's our teammate and of course we, we support her. How did she do fitting in in the middle of a season within a team, which is already a team? How, how, how did she do that? Oh, I mean, she did an incredible job, actually. You know, she came um, into the team, and I think, of course, it was it was a big step up for her, and I, I'm sure she was nervous. Um, but I mean, she just was a natural fit, and her her performance on the road was just so natural. And I think that's I think speaks so much for um, the type of person and rider she is. You mm -hmm. know, she's a a born winner, I think. And um, yeah, I, I think it's only a matter of time where we see her crossing the finish line first for Esty Works. Right. Because um, I think born winner is one thing, but also yeah, you have to feel good within a team, right? I mean, um, what is important to fit in a team or to feel good within a team? Well, I think that's where the responsibility comes a little bit to to uh, me and some of the older riders mm -hmm. you know, to try and, and make um, the youngsters feel comfortable. comfortable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, feel that um, they can ask us questions. Uh, feel that they have support around them. Um, and I think you know when Blanca joined us for the first race, uh, she um, she roomed with Anna and myself, and I think we we tried our best to make her feel. As comfortable as possible, she was, of course, um, you know, quite shy because um, I think you know English is not um, her first language. Mm -hmm. You know, so communication can be a little bit of a challenge for her. But we we did our best to to try and help her feel comfortable. And I think that the way she performed in the Volta in the first race showed that that she must have felt good in the team mm -hmm. uh, because she she really had a great performance. And yeah, we enjoyed spending time with her and getting to know her. And yeah, I think she will just grow from strength to strength as she as she grows in confidence and as she obviously becomes more and more adjusted in, in the team. Right. And how did you, how that work out for you as a youngster within the team last year as well with uh, our experienced uh, Ashley, for instance? How, how did it work um, teaming up? It was nice. It was good to always to have more experienced riders in the team to learn off of as well. Mm -hmm. Well, but did you feel welcome and, uh, well, uh, from the start and did you feel comfortable uh, right yeah, from the start? right from the start I felt very comfortable. How come? Well, what is that besides maybe the work uh, Ashley does uh, with uh, helping you guys fitting in? Yeah, I suppose my, I didn't really feel my age when I came on this. I didn't feel like there was a big age gap between us all. Mm -hmm. Just everyone treats you like a person. So. Because you're that senior or because they're that young? Definitely because they're that young. <laughs> Definitely because they're that young, right? Yeah. yeah. How was your year? How was that first year? Yes, I really enjoyed it. It was a good year. I um, kind of got thrown to the deep end because went from not racing very much in 2020 to doing a lot of races, but it's a very exciting year. And I think I still have a bit to learn, but definitely learned a lot throughout the year. What's there to learn? I mean, what are the big goals to learn in the upcoming season for you? Just learning more how to ride as a team and doing my job to help my teammates mm -hmm. get on that podium and win the races. And how can you improve that? I mean, can you, can you specify that? What do you need to do or we need to learn to improve that? I suppose it's just um, learning off my teammates right. who all have the experience. Uh -huh. Yeah, I felt bad a few times this year because Why? there were some times in the race where, where I gave some firm guidance to uh, to Anna in the race. You call that firm guidance? I mean, you were swearing. I mean. No, I mean, just sometimes a little bit of uh, a, quite a big nudge, like, come on, Anna, get to the front. Um, but yeah, it's, that's also like a challenge for us as as the more experienced riders is to find uh, the balance between obviously guiding and helping them to learn, but also. Uh, not to be too hard, but it's always good after the race if you yeah. felt like, in my case, maybe where I was, maybe 
on occasion a bit hard then to no, go to and talk to, to Anna and say, <laughs> and I didn't mean it in a personal capacity, I'm just helping you to grow. So yeah, <laughs> we're still friends. <laughs> You're still friends, so I'm, I'm happy about that. Uh, how was your year, uh, Nee? Because, well, first of all, you renewed your contract, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Uh, three more years? Yeah, three more years. So yeah, I, I mean, yeah, I can say that last year was a, a good year um, to, to sort of have that outcome from it. Um, but yeah, and I'm also really happy with the year I had too. Um, well, obviously, you were the, the best youngster in the world tour, which is a, it's a, that's a big example, uh, and maybe for the future, very promising. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think I've said it. I think it's really something for me to look at that 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 uh, prize I got last year um, to show how consistent I was through the year, and I think it, it shows that I I took some, yeah some big steps just in 2021, so I think there's more steps to come in 2022, and yeah, as Anna Shackley says, more to learn, and, and um, yeah, that's all part of being the young riders on the team, where we're, we know we're here to learn, and we know... The young riders, so they call you the puppies, right? Yeah, 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 too. yeah. the puppies. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, uh, uh, still, of course, uh, there's a lot to learn uh, when you're young, but on the same hand, I mean, you're part of the number one women's team, so they're, all, they're also maybe counting on results. Are they already counting on results from your side, or is it just, okay, leave them and let them learn, and we'll see them growing in the upcoming years? What do you think? Yeah, I mean, yeah, you put us in this sort of team, and, and, and we, we, we are with our teammates winning, and we, we always have that sort of winning Together. vibe. And, and of course they know, and, and we know ourselves, that we're never going to lose that sort of winning, want, fulfilling to want to win ourselves too. So. They don't need to push it on us, I don't think. And they know that when the opportunity comes, does come in a race, um, then for sure that we will grab it with two hands. And, and I'm sure that uh, both us puppies will get, get a chance in the near future to, to grab that win. Yeah. Cool. We'll look out for that. Um, and at the same uh, time, uh, Ashley, it's, it's your final year, right? 2022. Yes. yes. My final year. Yes. And, and that's a definite yes. Yes. <laughs> Yes, that's a different yes. Okay, I, I read you loud and clear. You have to be sure about it because I think if you if you don't if you start to doubt it, then I don't know. It's not a good feeling. So I think like even Anna can speak from experience. You need to make that decision and and feel yes, I've made it. You know. Okay. Uh, uh, how does that feel? Um, uh, made to, to have we made that decision for you? I mean, if it's if it's finished in October, maybe then it's it's done. Your career is done as an active rider. Well, yeah, I mean, for me, it obviously has been um, a little bit more difficult to find, you know, the time to retire because although I'm, I am the oldest rider on the team um, and, you know, I'm getting older, the reality is I'm still very young in cycling. You know, I only got into cycling uh, much later in life, yes. um, only after studying um, a degree. So I still feel quite young on the bike and I, and I don't feel like I've really hit um, you know, I'm not. I'm. I'm still improving. You know, over time and still growing as a cyclist. So it is quite difficult to hang up the bike when when you know there is still chance to progress. Um, but yeah, I just feel like um, I've had an incredible uh, journey as a cyclist. I've grown so much as a person, and I feel now is the time. You know, to take the next steps. Um, you know, to look more into the business side of things. I, I have a cycling tourism business on the side. Right getting more and more involved in um, esports as well to try and start kind of giving back, you know, because as a South African, I'm in Europe very far away from my home country. And, you know, I see so many young girls who, who would love to be in the position I am to have a pro career. And it's very difficult for South Africans um, to come over to Europe for, for various reasons. So I really do feel like at that time in my life now where I want to start sort of Giving, giving back. back and for me yeah esports at the moment is the way to do that um in terms of south africa you know being so far away from the country and playing an active role uh, from abroad mm, that's very nice um so at, the, at your final season the 22 season what is there you're looking at for the most then uh, i mean it's, it's not just a season to say and wave goodbye i mean knowing you you want to be there at your best level yeah of course i'm looking forward to the year um, you know, I've been riding for quite some years, but I am yet to win a World Tour race. <laughs> so that would be a great way to, to end off, the, off my career if I could get that uh, elusive World Tour victory and then just have an amazing year with, uh, with mm -hmm. my team, just to enjoy the riding, to 
to see the youngsters grow. I mean, I really enjoy seeing um, the young talent come through. I think it's a, it's a part of cycling that also motivates me a lot to be able to play some kind of motivational role within the team. Um, so yeah, I look forward to, to riding with my teammates and winning many races together, whether that's me or another teammate. Um, I think it, it will be amazing either way. So what's the best advice you can give them to wrap it up? The best advice? Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, just to keep, to keep having fun, actually. That's the most important thing. Um, I think that, you know, to, cycling is such a tough sport. You know, there's so many challenges that, that come along the way. But um, as long as you really have passion for it, you can always find your way through the challenges. So it's to continue to keep that fire. <laughs> yeah. And you still have that fire, I'm, I'm sure. Are you having fun as well? Yeah. Certainly, yeah. Even yeah, with this weather, fun. training outside? <laughs> Quite used to this way. You're used to that disaster <laughs> as well. You? Yeah, no, it's still fun. It's still fun. It's still yeah. fun. As long as it's fun, it will be good. Thank you very much. Wishing you the best of luck in the upcoming uh, season.